My beloved of the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters, welcome again to Hotline to Heaven. Hallelujah. All over this hotline, lift up your voices. Let everything that is within you arise in praise and worship unto our great Redeemer, the Savior of our souls, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, our Messiah and the Anointed One, the lover of our souls and the bishop of our souls, the high priest of every confession that issues out of your mouth unto God our Father. Praise Him. Exalt His name. Jesus, praise the name of our Lord Jesus, the one who always fights for you the one who loves you with an age-enduring love and kindness, the one who showers you with his compassion, the one who ensures that you are awakened every day into his mercy, that his goodness and mercy follows you throughout the day and who ensures that you sleep in his mercy. Glory be to his name, the one who always fights for you, Jesus Christ, your man of war, your heavenly champion, your king of glory, and the commander of all the heavenly hosts. Hallelujah. Praise him, Jesus, the anointed one, who dispatches his angels to do battle for you, who fights all manner of wars for you, many that only eternity will reveal. Praise him, your help. Praise him, your defender. Praise him, your defense. Praise him, your rock, your deliverer, your savior. And he is also your friend. Ah, lift up your voices everywhere you are right now and praise him. Yes, praise Jesus Christ in whom, through whom, and by whom you have overcome the world, the flesh, and the devil this year. Yes, I did not say you will overcome, but in him you have already overcome because his word says Christ in you is your hope of glory, your hope, hallelujah, of manifesting his glory, that is his power, his wisdom, everything that reveals the character of God, manifesting it in every area and arena of your lives this year. Praise Jesus Christ, who makes intercession for you day and night. Hey, all over this hotline, praise Jesus, who can never be defeated. And in him, you triumph always. Praise him. Praise Jesus Christ, your Messiah, the hope of your life, the hope of everyone who is gathered on this hotline. Yes, join me and say, I praise you, Jesus Christ, who brings down every high thing that stands in rebellion to your word and challenges your word to me this year and challenges your will for me this year. Yes, continue to, to praise him with me and say, I praise you, Jesus, by whose power every stronghold that has a strong grip upon me, that has a strong grip upon my child, that has a strong grip upon my spouse is broken. Hallelujah. I praise you for your finished work of salvation on the cross. I praise you, Jesus Christ, my sure help the rock and the keen strength of my heart, my defense in this land of the living and the God who always defends me, my great deliverer and my savior and my best friend. I praise you. Hallelujah. I praise you. My God, who works amazing miracles, great signs and wonders in my life that causes all who behold me to look at me with awe and trembling. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God of wonders, 
God of signs. Praise Jesus, our God of wonders and our God of signs, who does incredible, amazing, stunning miracles, signs and wonders in the lives of his children. And as you sing this song, let your heart be lifted up to him in faith, in expectancy, expecting him to arise and move in your life and bring to pass great signs and wonders. Yes, God of wonders, God of signs, God of miracles, you are the great I am, King of all the earth, we worship and we bow to you. You are God, and forever you will be. God of wonders, God of wonders, God of signs, my God of miracles, you are the great I am. Hey, King of all the earth, we worship and we bow to you. You are God, and forever you will be. As you sing this song, let your gaze be upon whatsoever it is. Let your inner man just dwell upon what you need God to arise and prove himself in. That area of your life where man has said it's impossible, where you know that humanly speaking, it is impossible for you to see a resolution. But with God, all things are possible. For his word says, is there anything that is too hard or too difficult for our God? Oh, God of wonders, my God of signs, God of signs, my God of miracles, you are the great I am, king of all the earth, king of all the earth. We worship and we bow. We worship and we bow. To you, you are God, and forever you will be my God of wonders, God of wonders, my God of signs, my God of miracles. You are my great I am, my King of all the earth. I bow, I worship, and I bow to you. You are God, and forever you will be. You are the God that opens every door. Hallelujah. You are the God that makes the lame to walk. You are the God that makes the blind eyes see. You are the God that makes the blind eyes see. You are the God, hallelujah. You are the God that gives me victory, hallelujah. Alpha and Omega, we worship your name. We worship your name. You, we worship your name, Lord. We worship your name. You are the God. You are the God. That opens every door. You are the God that makes the lame to walk. You are the God that makes the lame to walk. You are the God that opens every blind eye. You are the God that makes the blind eye see. You are the God that gives me victory. Hallelujah. You are the God that gives me victory. Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. I worship your name. Yes, I worship your name. Worship him. I worship your name, Lord. I worship Alpha and Omega. I worship your name. I worship your name, Lord. I worship your name, Lord. I worship, yes, worship the name of the one who by his outstretched hand of power, his righteous right hand of judgment, his great hand of deliverance and salvation is able to open any door unto you, no matter what that door is, no matter how long it's been sealed before your face, because he has the keys, hallelujah, that is able to open 
any door. Yes, no matter how great that door is that has been shut before you, no matter how much you have tried to open that door, you are the God that opens every door. Hallelujah. You are the God that makes the lame to walk. You are the God that makes the blind eye see. Hallelujah. And you are the God that gives me my miracles. Oh, Alpha and Omega, we worship your name. We worship, we worship your name. Lord, we worship, we worship your name, Lord. Oh, we worship your name. Alpha and Omega, I worship your name. I worship your name. I worship your name, Lord. I worship your name. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. And now we're going to turn to the book of Matthew chapter 14. Reading from verse 22, Matthew 14, reading from verse 22. This is after Jesus had fed over 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish. And after all that was done, Jesus, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 14, verse 22, immediately after this, Jesus insisted, there's another, another translation that says he compelled his disciples to get back into the boat and to cross to the other side of the lake while he sent the people home. After sending them home, he went up into the hills by himself to pray and night fell while he was there alone. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from the land For a strong wind had risen and they were fighting heavy waves. At about three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came towards them, walking on the water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. And in their fear, they cried out, it's a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them at once. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Then Peter called to him. Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you. Walking on the water. Yes, come. Jesus said. Another translation says, Jesus said, it is I Come, come. So Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water towards Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, he was terrified and he began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. And Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. You have so little faith, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed back into the boat, The wind stopped. Then the disciples worshipped him. You really are the son of God. They exclaimed. Hallelujah. Saints of God, there is so much, so very much to unpack from these scriptures we have read. But because of time, I'll just touch on some areas that um, the spirit of the Lord is leading me that we pray about. Notice it says immediately after this, Jesus insisted. He compelled his disciples to enter the boat, to get back into the boat and to cross over to the other side and to cross over to the other side. He compelled them and he made his followers to get into the boat and to cross over to the other side. Dear saints of God, There are some of you that know that you know that you know that Jesus told you to start whatever it is you have started, whatever it is you have embarked upon in your life right now. And along the way, you have now faced some terrible, grievous storms. 
and the waves are beating at the walls of that endeavor that you have started. And you're starting to wonder. But I know that Jesus is the one that started me on this venture. I know how much I sought God's face to start and embark on this project. I know that I had the clear leading of the Lord to start this program in school. I know that I heard from the Holy Spirit and I was persuaded that the Lord would have me get married to this man or woman. So why? Why am I dealing with what I'm dealing with now? Why are things so terribly difficult? Why am I about to sink? Why am I about to be dragged under in this endeavor, in this venture, in this project that I know that the Lord started me out on? Why, Lord? First of all, I want you to know this. Do not second guess the clear leading you know you had from the Lord at the beginning. Do not, I repeat, second guess the clear leading that you had from the Lord at the beginning. You started out with the Lord. You were sure the Lord led you. Don't start to doubt him. The Lord compelled them. He made them. He told them, get into the boat and go on to the other side. In the middle of the lake, they were now faced with terrible and fierce storms that threatened to capsize the boat. There are some of you who, as it were, in the middle of, of what you know the Lord started you out on. The waves are beating so hard. The challenges are so great. And you feel like the boat of whatever it is that you have started is about to capsize. Now pray this prayer with me. You know exactly what it is that you need to talk to the Lord about. And if this may not even apply to you, the Holy Spirit may be leading you to pray for someone in your circle of life. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit may be leading you to pray for your spouse or your child or your grandchild. Rasata shata. So pray, my father. Father, you are the God of divine completion. You began this good work in my life. You began this good work in the life of my child, if it's your child or your spouse, whoever it is. You're the God of divine completeness and you bring to flourishing finishes. Sustain, support, and bring me to the glorious end of this great and good work that you have started in my life, that you've started in my ministry, that you've started, Lord, in the life of my son, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For he who began the good work in you, he who began his good work oh he who began his good work in you hallelujah he is able to complete it yes he's able he is able to complete it hallelujah he who started this work he is able to complete it in you oh saints of god pray father you started this good work in me you started this good work in my life. You started this good work in my business. You started me on this path, Lord. You called me to embark in this venture. You persuaded me by your spirit to take a hold of this project. Father, you led me out of all the options before me to take up this job. Father, behold the great waves that are beating against 
my boat, the boat of my job, the boat of my career that I believe you started me on, the boat of this program in my school. Yes, you know what it is. Are you pregnant? The Lord is the one who enabled and empowered you to conceive. And maybe this pregnancy is being threatened. Kasha Tasakamba, you started me, oh God, on this journey. Deliver me, my father, from the great waves. Deliver my son from the great waves that is beating against the walls of his life, the walls of my grandchild's life, oh God, threatening to Cassandra Kamanta Saka, cause the boat that he has entered into, she has entered into to capsize. For you, oh God, are the God whose everlasting arms is able to keep steady, is able to keep stable, is able to sustain and to support and to safeguard the good work, the great work and the amazing work you started me on. For I know, oh God, that I heard your voice when I started out on this venture. I know whose voice I heard. Yes, continue to pray, dear saints. For the Lord says, I am your sheep, Lord. You have fashioned me to know your voice, Lord. I believe, my daddy, that you started me out in this project, in this venture. Arise, my father, and sustain me and support me. And prevent this great storm that has arisen and is beating so fiercely and ferociously, my father, against the walls of my life against the boat this boat i have entered into you know what that boat is yes talk to the lord about it and is threatening to capsize it my father deliver my boat, whether your boat is your ministry, whether your boat is your business, your project, your pregnancy, your marriage, the marriage that you entered into and you clearly believe that this is where the Lord will have me go. This is who the Lord will have me marry. And now you're facing some really turbulent times and you're wondering, God, did I hear right? Was I really led by you? Is this man, this woman, the one that I really believed you wanted me to marry? No, 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 no. The devil is a liar. My sheep hear my voice. They know my voice and they hear me. A strange voice will they not follow. If you believe you heard the voice of the Lord at the beginning, stop second guessing yourself and recognize where the trouble is coming from. For we have an adversary, the devil, and his mandate is to steal, to kill and destroy in any way possible by any means possible. Rekese Kamanta, the storm, the waves, yes, that have arisen, the great winds that have arisen, threatening to capsize your boat, the boat of your loved one is from the devil. So pray right now by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. That is above every other power. I empty this storm of its power to capsize my boat. And I deliver the boat of my life from these great waves and these fierce waves. For the Lord who has started me on this journey will uphold me. You, O oh God, will sustain and support me and bring me to my flourishing finish. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, pray. Pray and empty that wave. Empty those great and fierce and threatening winds of their power. Always remember, all power, all might, belongs to the Lord. The Bible says, once have you spoken and twice have I heard that all power belongs to you. Many of us need to hear twice, not just only with our head, but with our spirit man, where we hear. In other words, hearing twice means having it indelibly written and inscribed upon our hearts, having a knowing 
being fully persuaded, unshakably, movably persuaded that all power belongs to God. And so any power that is threatening our lives, threatening the boat of our lives and threatening to prevent what God has started in our lives from coming to its glorious and flourishing finish is operating on that derived power. The power is derived power. It does not have the power to be able to undo you, overwhelm you, or outwit you. Because all power comes from your Father in heaven. Hallelujah. Yes. Pray. Continue to pray. And now, listen to me, dear saints. When Peter saw Jesus walking on the water towards them. He, and Jesus told them, do not be afraid. Take courage. I am here. Peter called out to him and said, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. And Jesus said, it is I. Come, come. And Peter, on the strength of that command, on the strength of what Jesus had told him on the strength, hallelujah, of the word of God stepped out of the boat onto the tumultuous waters, onto the shaking and frothing waves to walk (laughs) towards Jesus Christ. He stepped out expecting to experience a miracle on the strength of God's word. Saints of God, there are some of you on this hotline who need God to do a miracle for you in the circumstance you're in now. You are in a situation right now. You're going through something right now. (laughs) where with man it is impossible where with man forget it and yet you need that thing to happen you need that situation to come through for you you need that door to be opened unto you You need that man, that person to respond favorably to you. You need that paper to be signed for you. You need a resolution, but yet it is beyond your power, your ability, your resources to get it. In other other words, it is impossible with you. But you serve a God who is able to make you see, who is able to make you experience, who is able to make you handle that which men say is impossible, that which is humanly impossible, that which is impossible with man. And so you're going to pray. Pray for yourself or whoever it is the Lord lays on your heart to pray this prayer and say with me, all over this hotline, wherever you are right now. Father, you are the one who made the heavens and the earth by your great power. You are the God who sits in the heavens and you rule and you dominate in the affairs of men. There is nothing that is too hard. There is nothing, oh God, that is too wonderful. There is nothing that is too difficult for you. By your great power and your outstretched arm, oh Lord, arise in this situation of mine and make me see, make me experience and make me handle That which men say is impossible. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, pray. Pray, dear saints. 
make me see, make me experience and make me handle that which men say is impossible. For with you, all things are possible. With you, my father, nothing is too hard and nothing is too difficult. Remember me. Remember my child, oh God. Hey, remember my child. Remember my son, my father. By your outstretched hand of power, by your outstretched hand of deliverance, by your outstretched hand of salvation, remember me and cause me to see, cause me to experience and to handle my miracle. For there is nothing that you cannot do. Arise in your great power, O Lord. Arise in your glorious might. Arise in your miracle working power. And do that which is too wonderful for me to do. My God of signs and my God of wonders. God of wonders. My God of signs. My God of miracles. You are the great I am. King of all the earth, I worship and I bow to you. You are God and forever you will be. My God of wonders, God of wonders, my God of signs. Hey, God of miracles, you are the great I am. King of all the earth, I worship and I bow. To you, you are God, <coughs> and forever you will be. Oh, yes, pray. My Father in heaven, cause me to experience my own walking on water miracles. Oh, Lord, my God of great acts of salvation and amazing wonders and miracles. <clears throat> In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, Father, arise in my life. My God that dominates, that my God that rules, <laughs> my God that has absolute power <clears throat> in the affairs of men. <clears throat> Let me experience my own walking on water miracles, O oh Lord. Yes, pray. Show me what I have to do to experience my miracles. Ah, saints of God, there is nothing he cannot do. Peter obeyed Jesus' word. It is I come when he said, Lord, if it's you, bid me come. And Peter stepped out of the boat and started to walk on water. That is absolutely impossible with man. Let's even leave difficult or hard. It's impossible. It's not done. Man does not walk on water. But on the strength of the word, he experienced his miracle. The word, he was walking as it were on that word. And that's why he did not sink. So pray and talk to the Lord in this situation, my father, in my job, concerning my immigration papers, concerning my marriage. Let me experience my own walking on water miracle, concerning my desire to be admitted in so-and-so program or into so-and-so school. Yes, do you have a child who is desirous of entering a particular program or a school or a grandchild? Pray for them. Ah, Satashikamba, Father, arise, O God. Leke satashi kabampa, ata sakema na shingan, cause my grandchild, cause my son to experience his own or her own walking on water miracle. Show me, show them what they have to do to experience their miracle, to experience their, your amazing wonders in their life. Our God of signs and wonders, my God of great acts of salvation, my God who gives me victory, my God who can open any door? For are you not the God who says in your word 
that you're the God who is able to open great doors of victory, great doors of opportunity, great doors of service. Open my door of miracles unto me, O oh God. Are you in a situation, in a bind, where you need money, where you need money to be able to do something that you just need to get done? Ala sakabata sike papakandasti hike. Pushike pampan kanasti hikamba nasanka. Or it may be someone in your life who needs money. Rakasanda. And without that money, it's as if the boat of their life is going to be capsized. Stand on the wall of their lives for them and pray. Father Sike Manashinga, listen to me. The power that is able to release a thousand dollars into your life is the same power that can release ten thousand, same power that releases a hundred, the same power that releases a million. Rike Sata Shikamanashinga, our God is all powerful. Rike Paseka, the same power that can release ten million or fifty million, whatever the amount is. Allah Kasaka, as Jesus told the disciples, Reke Patasha, take courage. Do not be afraid. Have faith in God. Reke Sata Shikamba, listen to me. Ata Sike Manasanga. Whatever it is you are apprehensive about, whatever that trouble around you, that difficulty you're in right now, those challenges that appear insurmountable before you right now, that is causing you to doubt Christ's presence, causing you to doubt his ability to help you, causing you to doubt his power and his wisdom being demonstrated on your behalf. Remember, remember that he is always with you. That is number one. And he is the only one who can really help you. He's always with you. It was 3 a.m. when they started to fight heavy waves on the boat. At three o'clock in the morning, Jesus Christ came towards them. He was not asleep. Hey! The Bible says he does not sleep and he does not slumber. At times when you need your husband, when you need your wife, when you need your child, when you need your best friend, when you need your pastors, <laughs> they may not be able to help you. It may be 3 a.m. and you're calling and they their phone is on vibrate. Their phone is on silent because they need to sleep. They may not have the wherewithal, the money, the resources, the physical ability, the connections to help you. But you have a God who, irrespective of the time of day or night, is always with you. And his resources are bottomless. He's the source of every good and perfect gift. Hallelujah. So saints of God pray all over this hotline, pray, Father, by your mighty power and by your outstretched hand of deliverance and salvation, arise and visit me. Remember me and visit me and cause me to experience my own walking on water miracles. Cause my ministry to experience her own walking on water miracles. Cause my child. Has your child been told that they can never get pregnant? Since she was married, since he was married, that they can't get pregnant. Has the doctor given you all manner of diagnosis why you cannot get pregnant? Well, that is the doctor's report. And it has its own place, yes. Medical science has its own place. The wisdom behind medical science and all the medical breakthroughs come from Jehovah. But hey! He's the great physician who dominates and rules in your affairs. He's the Lord God of all flesh. He formed you. He created you. Hallelujah. And he has the last say over any report, over any diagnosis, and over any, any prognosis. Listen to me. Some of you have heard my story. Ah, satasheke papa kanda stihikemanda. After I had three children, I went to the doctors and I told the doctors to cut my tubes. And the doctors not only cut my tubes, they cauterized it because I told them I was done and I didn't want to have any more children. Fast forward about <coughs> um, not too long after that, I think about a, about a year after that, <laughs> I had 
my fourth child. Tubes were cauterized and tubes were burnt. In other words, I had a child without tubes. How did it happen? Only God knows. When I get to heaven, I'm going to ask him that question. But I had a child without tubes. My special last child. I call him my son of destiny. He was meant to come. But I had a son without tubes. Humanly speaking, it's not done. So whether you have no womb or your hormones, according to the doctors, are not functioning the way they should, or your reproductive cells are not functioning to par, that is the report of man. With God, nothing is impossible. So pray, Father, concerning my reproductive life, the reproductive life of my friend, let's seize this opportunity to pray for any in your circle of life. You're, you have loved ones. You have precious and dear and beloved friends and sisters or brothers who are believing God and agonizing because they desire the fruit of the womb. They desire to conceive. Seize this opportunity and pray, Father, concerning so and so. Cause them to experience their own walking on water miracles, O Lord. Overshadow them with your glory. Let your power rest upon them and do a miracle in their reproductive life. In Jesus' name I pray. Cause them to experience their miracle, O oh God. Visit them, remember them and visit them by your great power and your outstretched arm. Father, touch their reproductive parts and cause them to experience great acts of salvation and deliverance, Lord and empower them <clears throat> to conceive. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Oh, Oh, all over this hotline. Yes, bring out your holy communion. And as you're bringing out your holy communion and getting it ready, I want to give an opportunity to anyone who is on hotline who knows that they are not born again. They are not saved. Saints of God, that is the greatest miracle that could ever happen to you. The miracle of salvation, because it takes the Holy Spirit to bring about a regeneration in our lives. If you have not called upon the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, you're spiritually dead. That's what the Bible says. But as many as calls upon him and say, these words with your mouth and believe them in your heart. You will be born again because that's what he says in Romans 10, 9 to 10. So <clears throat> if you are saved, pray for those in your circle of life whose who salvation you've been talking to the Lord about and you're burdened about. Yes, pray that the Lord will send messengers of salvation to them. Pray that the Lord will convict them of how much they need him as their savior. That the Lord will put his blanket of conviction over them and they'll have no rest until they come to him and experience his grace and his mercy, which you have already experienced and become saved. And the rest of you, if you're not saved, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I invite you into my life. I believe that you are the son of God and that you died on the cross for me. I receive you right now as my savior and my Lord. I pray this to the father in Jesus name. Amen. And now Lord Jesus, fill me with the gift of your Holy Spirit so that I may be empowered to live this life of faith that you have called me to. Because apart from you, I cannot do it. I receive him now. And I thank you for filling me with Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. If you prayed these prayers, believing it with your heart, you are born again. That is it. If you pray the prayer to receive Jesus, we'd love to hear from you. You can get in touch with us by going to hotlinetoheaven.org to get our contact information. 
Glory be to God. Congratulations and welcome to the household of God. Welcome to the family of the Most High God. Welcome to the, to the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. We would really love to know about your decision. And um, so, like I said, if you prayed this prayer, call us. Our contact information is on hotlinetoheaven.org. Or you can come visit us if you live in the Los Angeles area at International Christian Center, Los Angeles. International Christian Center, Los Angeles. Again, you can get our contact information by going on, on um, going online to hotline to heaven dot org. Hallelujah. And also for those of you who have not downloaded the ICCLA app, download it so that you can follow hotline to heaven on your app and not have to call in. I heard that um, some days ago we had some technical difficulties for those of you who call in by phone, but on hotline to heaven, app, um, if you have the ICCLA app, Hotline to Heaven is on that app. And once you click on that um, Hotline to Heaven, it's really seamless and you won't have any problems. It's easier to go that route. Glory be to God. And right now, I pray over all the Holy Communion elements. Father, I command your blessing upon these Holy Communion elements as your people take it, Lord. Cause them to experience your power in every area of their lives. For you are a God that keeps covenant both now and forever. Stand behind your solemn promise to your children as they take this holy communion and bring about a performance by your great power and your outstretched arm of great acts of miracles and signs and wonders in their physical bodies and in their lives. In Jesus' name. And all the people on this hotline say, Amen. And now, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, take your Holy Communion. And now pray with me and say, Father, as I take this Holy Communion, signifying, proclaiming, and declaring the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, I receive the dead raising, the life giving, the restoring and the resurrection power of the Holy Ghost flowing through my body and flowing through my life right now. In Jesus' name, I decree by reason of this resurrection power a reversal of whatever the enemy and the forces of darkness and all manner of wicked spirits in the spirit realm have taken and kept captive in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, pray, pray. Father, reverse every captivity in my body and rebuild that which has been broken down in my body and in my life. In Jesus' name. Yes, pray. By reason of your resurrection power, by reason of your restoring power, by reason, O oh God, of your death-destroying power, your dead-raising power, Father, reverse every captivity in my life. When 
I, my body has been taken and kept captive through all manner of sickness, debilitating conditions, oh God, that is making me not able to function according to how you have called me to function. Yes, Father, whatsoever has been taken and kept captive in my life, in any area of my life, as I take this holy communion, signifying the victory that you purchased for me on the cross of Calvary. I declare and I decree your victorious power over my life. And I command Atasakama by the divine mandate of your word and by divine decree a reversal of this captivity in the life of my son right now. I release you where you have been taken captive in your body. I release your body right now. I release your spirit right now. I release your mind. That the, unto Alakabianta Takama Nasinka, the liberation and the liberty that is yours in Christ Jesus. I release you, Alakatata, to the quickening, Arakamana Sianka, and the dead raising power of the Holy Ghost to work in your paths and to quicken you and raise you up. Erede Kamianta, and to cause to function optimally all your body parts in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rasata, pray, pray, pray for yourself, pray for your loved ones. Pray for your spouse. Pray for anyone who needs this prayer. Yes, pray that every captivity in your life by reason of the power of God that has been released in your life as you take this holy communion is reversed. Arakamana, not only reversed. Ha! For our God is a God who not only reverses the captivity of his people, but he builds that which has been torn down. He rebuilds that which has been broken down. He builds, he rebuilds the foundation of our lives. So pray, Father, by the center, by the divine mandate of your word, Lord, because you watch over your word to perform it as you have spoken in the book of Isaiah. Reverse, 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 O oh Lord, this captivity in my body, O oh God. Reverse it, Father, and rebuild that which has been broken down, that which has been torn down by the power in the exalted name of Jesus Christ, my deliverer and Savior. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Ah, Sataseke Papakanda Starakaba Nashinge Papakanda Stihika. Dear saints of God, thank him. All over this hotline, just thank him. I appreciate him before we um, sign out. Appreciate him for what he has done, what he has unfolded, and what he is doing in your life right now. What he has set in motion in your life through your prayers. For the Lord has done so much. Let us not be ingrates before we get off this hotline. Thank him. Yes, Father, for your acts of salvation, for your great wonders and your signs that you have done and are doing in my life and in the lives of your sons and daughters all over this hotline. We thank you and we praise you, Jehovah. And right now, I command and release the anointing for divine completeness upon you and upon all the works of your hands and your endeavors. That anointing shall work powerfully and mightily in every area and arena of your life to sustain and to support everything, every good thing, every great thing that the Lord has started you on. He will support it, sustain it, and propel it forward by his anointing and bring it to its glorious and flourishing finish in the name of Jesus Christ. And right now, by the blood of Jesus, you stand delivered. Your seed stands delivered. Your spouse stands delivered from any diabolic mischief or diabolic manipulation or control of your life in order to bring to pass the desire and the design of the enemy concerning you. In Jesus' name, go forth and conquer. For in Christ Jesus, you triumph always. You are a winner. All 
ways. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. 